Hello, how you doing? Welcome back to Black Shot. So, because of the new revolution update, um, I just want to talk about like the weapons, the gears, and how you should and shouldn't be spending your money. Just try and give everyone, everyone a bit of advice, some tips. So, I'm going to start off with what weapons you should be buying and shouldn't be buying. Um, then onto gears, you know what you should and shouldn't be buying again. Then after that, just kind of how to maintain your money and uh, how to build it up. Like I'm only at eleven thousand myself at the minute because. I was wasting it, but like these past two hours, I thought, right, I need to start building my money up because <coughs> uh, obviously I was wasting it to test things out, test new weapons, test gears, and stuff like that. So, yeah, anyway, let's get on with video. All right, so for the first stage, um, I'm going to be talking about like assault rifles and SMGs, uh, just basically fully automatic guns. Is it, this is honestly, it's not difficult pick this um you know you can look through your rifles and all that you're like oh these are great no they're not they're all trash <laughs> i'm not gonna lie to you assault rifles are completely useless at the minute i have got the chris vector on chris vector Azor. so if you look look down in ability and um, you can see the red is what gun i'm clicking on the light blue is my gun so if we go over to the SMG right and go to the SR2 Berserker Shadow, you'll see the stats are the same. I have like a tiny, 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 tiny bit of extra run speed. You can barely tell the difference. So you know I've tried both of them. Honestly, you can't tell the difference. Now if you go to any assault rifle, look. I'm just gonna go to the free stars because everyone knows the free stars are the best. So I'm just gonna show you on, you know, these three guns here. Right, the M4A1. The my vector has better damage, better rate of fire, better speed, and that's it. <laughs> it has better speed, better damage, better rate of fire, but it's the exact same on accuracy and exactly the same on control. So, obviously you, you're gonna wanna go with the SR2 or the, uh, the Chris Vector, because you know, same control, same accuracy, but higher rate of fire, higher, higher damage, higher speed. Onto the HK416 Abyss. I have better speed, better rate of fire, better damage, and better control. And better control. That's four things it's better at. Last but least, let's go for the AK-47 SRM Shadow. Alright, so I have a better rate of fire, better damage, better control, way better speed. Just way so much better speed on all of them. But the AK-47 does have a tiny bit better accuracy. But honestly, you're barely going to see that difference. Uh, so let's move on to SMGs, P90, the P90 has got a little bit better accuracy, no, I've got better accuracy, I've got a little bit better speed, and I've got like double the damage. Going to the MP7, the MP7 has got better control, although the accuracy is a little bit less, I know it only shows a tiny bit, but in the game that's actually quite a bit of a difference, like you can see when you hold, when you just stood there, you can see your crosshair, it's a lot, your crosshair is a lot more open for your first couple of shots. Um, but again, you know, it's still got better damage. So you go to the SR2 Berserk Shadow. It's the exact same. There's no diff. The only difference is a tiny bit of speed. But like I said, you can't even notice the difference. So to sum it up, if you're if you're going in for a fully automatic gun, just don't get any assault rifle at all. They're all terrible. Honestly, I don't. I honestly don't know what they were thinking with the assault rifles. These need these need buffing a lot. And I mean a lot. Like the assault rifles are just so bad in the game right now. Uh, SMGs, if you're gonna get an SMG, get the uh, SR2 Berserker. Right, if you can get, if you're not bothered about your gold, go for the shadow. If you're trying to save your money, then go for just a standard one. I know the speed there's a bit of speed difference, but it's, like I said, it's not that noticeable. You can notice it, but it's not that noticeable. Obviously, you've got your three tiers. I just don't receive that. So, if you're going for fully automatic gun, you want the SR2. It's, plain, it's as simple as that. You want the SR2 Berserker. It's, it's easily the best running game. Like, I'm, honestly, it's so easy to tell. You can buy one of every gun, go into the game, and by the end of it, you will be using an SR2 Berserker. It's as simple as that. Um, pistol wise, so this is completely up to you. 
I go for the single shots. I mean, you've got your fully autos and you've got your single shots. All right, the fully autos, they've got better control. I'll give them that. But if you are a, if you are a bad at aiming, you cannot control guns, then get a fully auto. But if you can control your gun, then get a single shot. These are about eight to 10 shots to kill someone. I'm not, I think it's more than that. It's bad. It's, they've got so little damage. It's like 10 to 15 bullets kill somebody it's ridiculous they, they say, they're just so weak like so weak and then if you get any of these three all right so the Glock 21 jewels obviously the best but it's quite expensive for what it is um any of these honestly you're not going to see that much of a difference again it's just going to be a little bit of speed difference but these are four shotguns they're like the best damaging guns um so yeah get the glocks Glock 21s. They, they are four shotguns. It's just, there's no, for me, there's no competition. But if you, like I said, if you are not very good at controlling weapons, because you've got quite a bit of a kick to them, if you cannot control that kick, then you want to go for the Glock 18s. Um, definitely, if you go for the Glock 18s, just go for the Glock 18 Jewel, because they hold 66 bullets. They hold more bullets than anything else in the game. Um, and these, with the 30, only having 33 bullets, they're not. You're going to get one, two kill max. Like, honestly, you're not going to get more than two kills unless people are low HP. These old 13 bullets, that's three kills there, guaranteed. If you get this, it's six kills per clip. Six per clip. It's ridiculous. Uh, going on to melee. I know I've left sniper and shotgun. I'm going to go back to them at the end. Um, melee is completely up to you. If you want speed, go for the SMF knife. Like, running speed, go for the SMF knife. If you want attack speed, go for dive knife. I'd say these are the same. I thought this were quicker. Alright, just go for the SMF knife. <laughs> if you want range, then, you know, go for one of your katanas. Like, get the katana. The cadet has got a little bit less range. But everything else is the same, so... Over the Kadachi and the katana, your katana is your best choice. I'd just go for either the katana or SMF knife. And honestly, like the other ones, I don't even look at them. Just katana or SMF knife. Grenades. I don't think there's any difference between the MK2 grenade, your normal grenade, and the model 24 grenade. Just stick with your normal free grenade. Only get these if you have two grenade slots. Uh, smokes. This grenade emits 12 seconds of bent smoke. This one is 8 seconds. For the extra 50 gold, you may as well get the red one. For the extra 40, it's literally 50% better. For 10% extra, you know what I mean. You can't. There's no arguing with that. Like you want the red smoke. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> I've honestly not bought it. I don't even know what that is. I'm going to buy. Actually, I'm going to buy one. I want to see what that is. I've seen them in game. I've seen people throwing them, but I don't know what they do. So I'm sorry. I can't help you with that. I apologize. I should have done this before the video, but it's too late now. So yeah. Anyway, onto the snipers. Alright, so, let me go to my loadout real quick. Alright, for the snipers, um, so, obviously AWP Stealth is your best one, because it gives you the best movement steve, uh, speed. They're all the same. I've not, again, I've not tested out the Dragon Ops. Um, I can remember these being a two shot back in, um, yeah, before the update. I'm guessing they're going to be the same. They'll be two shot, but it was like semi-automatic, you know, so you ain't got to cock it back every shot. I did just stick with AWPs. Do you have a chance of one shotting with the Dragon of? Unless you're hitting a headshot, you're not going to one shot them. Uh, with the AWPs, it's like a 50% chance. Or the M24. Like the M24, again, is a great weapon. It is just the AWP. The only thing with the M24, you know, your default weapon, is it has significantly less run speed and it only adds half a clip. But if you're trying to save gold, then that's what you're going to go for. Last but not least, shotgun. Spaz 12. Just get the Spaz 12. That's it. If you're trying to say, um, well, no, that's it. We're just talking about best guns. Spaz 12, best gun. Get it, they're ridiculous. They're, they're ridiculously overpowered. This is so stupid right now. Um, they need the rate of fire nerfing so bad. They just, yeah, just get a Spaz 12. But anyway, that's that's all the weapons. Let's get into it. Uh, let's get into gears, gear slots. 
All right, so for your actives, I always go med kit and speed kit. You can get steady aim, and um, this just gives you better accuracy for like a certain amount of time with like assault rifles or something. I I don't use it. I've never used it. It was before the update as well. It was in the game then. I've honestly never used it because I just don't need it. If you're having problems with your aim, probably get like controlling weapons. Probably give it a try, but. After this update, you shouldn't be you shouldn't be having issues with controlling guns because they're just so easy to control now. You just have to pull down a little bit. So I go med kit, speed kit, speed kit is brilliant. Med kit is brilliant. But yeah, onto passives. Extra grenade slot. You can never go wrong with that. An extra grenade slot is an extra grenade slot. You know what I mean? It just gives you an extra grenade. It's good. It's good. Good thing to have. Magazine extension. Pure trash. Don't get it. Waste of money. It gives you 10% extra bullets, so if you're using the SR2 Berserker, for instance, and, you know, that holds 30 bullets, this will make you have 33 bullets. Don't get it. Waste of money. Multi-weapon. It's a great thing. Gives you an extra primary weapon. You know, everyone knows what multi-weapon is. It's a good thing to have. Really good thing to have. Demolition Man. Um, Alright, so Demolition Man, I've always been 50-50 on, is... It makes the blast radius, um, is it more damage that one? Increase your grenade damage. No, this one increases the spread, so you know, you've know you got a higher chance of doing damage to him. But unless the grenade, grenade like, like, if you're gonna get a kill with grenade, this isn't gonna help you. Like if that grenade lands at someone's feet and they're gonna die anyway, this wouldn't help in that situation. But it's gonna help get a little bit more damage at a little bit more range. That's what that does. Uh, damage Man 2, this increases the damage. Again, uh, I don't know how it added these two, which one I'd go for. I'd, I'd personally probably go for more range. I think that'd be a better choice. Because if you're going to hit them with the grenade, then that's not, again, if it, the grenade lands at the feet, that's not going to help because they're dead anyway. So I'd go for the more range just to try and get a little bit of extra damage off. Um, infiltrator. <laughs> It reduces the plant time by two seconds. If you're playing Search and Destroy, this is a must have. And you can't argue, it's a must have. If you're playing Search and Destroy all the time. If you're playing Team Deathmatch, don't even buy it. Like, don't waste your time with it. If you ever go into a Team death Deathmatch, make sure you take it off. Don't waste your time, don't waste your money. Shock Absorbers. Alright, so before the update, I used to love these. I always had them on, but since the update, they don't seem to be as good. But I still wear them. They're still uh, one of my primaries. And ultimate fiddle reduces weapon reload by 1.5 seconds and increases weapon swap speed. If you are a sniper, again, this is a must-have. You know, you get that one shot off and then switch to your pistol. Um, if you're a soul, it's kind of 50-50. You know, it's like, all right, want to be better off with an extra grenade or a quicker reload. You know, that's all on you. Me, my primaries are shock absorbers, ultimate fiddle, multi weapon, and infiltrator. Like, I know you can only have three on. It all depends on what game mode I'm doing you know, what map I'm playing and, you know, all that. There's a lot of things that it comes down to. But they're the four, the main four that I use. So anyway, the last thing we're going to talk about is how to save money. So let's get on with that. All right, so I'm in my loadout. We're going to talk about saving gold. All right, so if you're trying to save gold, you don't need a pistol. You don't, you don't need an amazing pistol. Just use your HK-45. It's a great gun. It is a great gun. Um, like, just click on this, go to the shop, weapons, pistols, compare it to the Glock 21. Tiger. It has a higher. <laughs> Wait. I'm so confused. Alright, so it has less rate of fire, but it has the same damage, same accuracy, a little bit less speed. Alright, so obviously the Glocks are better, but if you're trying to save money, then it's not. You know, like, pistols aren't, like, a really super important thing. Unless you're playing a pistol on game. Um, if you're using a sniper and you get that shot off and you need to hit him with the pistol, you only need to hit him with one bullet. You know, so the HK45, just stick with that. Um, again, if you're using snipers, if you're trying to build up your money, just use the M24. You know, you still it's still the same, it is the same as the AWP, you just get a little bit less run speed, you know, you're just trying to save up money anyway. 
if you're a competitive player, what I would say is save all your money you can until like you play a competitive game. Then this is when you chuck all your gears and use all your best weapons. You know what I mean? Uh, knives, again, save your money. Just stick with your unlimited pistol, unlimited. SMG, the UM45 is a good gun. It's not the best gun. Obviously the Berserker is the best gun. So what you could do is just, right, see this is what I'm doing to build up my money at the minute. I'm, I'm not running this. I'll show you my build for saving my money. That is what I run. The HK45D, the WP stealth, the knife and the grenade. So the only thing I'm using is my art. If you really want to save money, then switch to the M24. But me, I still like to have a bit of competition for obviously like videos and stuff like that. So still gonna hit some good shots. Uh, for gears, I run these because obviously I do put money into the game. And um, if you are trying to save money, take the speed kit off. Just keep the med kit. If you can play without the med kit, take it off. But if you do want it, and obviously use it. But don't put. If you're trying to save money, don't put the speed kit. Um. Go to passives, if you can see, this is me trying to save money. I don't have any passives running. I don't use multi-weapon when I'm saving, I don't use any of these, because all I'm doing is I'm playing 2 deathmatch, or I'm playing capture the flag or something. And none of these really help that much. You know, I'm, I'm when I play competitive, like say if I'm playing sans, um, office, right? Say if I'm playing office competitive, that would be on. Fiddle would be on, multi-weapon would be on, that, that'd that be my build, but I'm not, you know, I'm not playing competitive, so I don't care for that, I don't care for that, I don't care for that, so, there's some money saving tips for you, just run one, if you're really trying to save money, just use your unlimiteds, because they're still as good as everything else. Uh, the shotgun, that's, that's actually a really good gun. It's not, as, it's nowhere near as good as the spaz, but it is a good gun. As long as you crouch when you shoot, it's a really good gun. Sniper, uh, it's just as good as the rest. The, the only way I see you'd struggle is if you're using fully auto, because... Let's have a look at the M45. Sharp weapons, SMG, Berserker. So you're getting a little bit less damage. But it does have a little bit more control. I'd say they actually balance out pretty well because you're getting like quite a lot more control for a little bit less damage. So the um, again, you could go with your M16A4. Let's have a look at this. Sharp weapons, SMGs, Berserker, and it just gets absolutely destroyed. The Berserker just absolutely annihilates it. So if you're going for fully auto, go with the M45. If you're going for your sniper and you're trying to save money, go for the M24. Don't use any rifle. They're just the rubbish. Look at that, I got that I've got that for 16 hour and 43 minutes. I had it for 17 hour when I started. I've been playing all day. I've used it for you know 17 minutes and I was like, yeah, I'm never using that again. It's just pure trash. The AK, I used it for six minutes. I was like, yeah, I'm not using that anymore. So, there's just some advice for building up money. Um, like I said, if you are looking to play competitive, I, what I would do is I'd run these type of weapons, you know, maybe run these type of builds here, just until you get into competitive and then chuck all your money into competitive and try and win some of the juicy, juicy loot. I hope this helps. If you have any tips, advice, or just anything you want to tell me about the game, just let me know in the comments below. Um, there's a Discord link in the bottom, uh, Twitch link in the bottom. If you want to support the channel, there's a Patreon link in the bottom. I will see you all next time. Thank you for coming in. So, yeah, see you all in a bit.